Are you ready? Good morning. Good morning. And isn't it a great morning? And it is not only just a beautiful day, but it's great to have fellowship together with our dearest friends in Christ and also to be inspired to share Christ with others. I want to tell you something about sharing Christ with others that is especially hard for someone in my position to admit because there's a real high expectation on what I do here and especially from up there in the pulpit and I have to admit especially after reading that psalm if anyone has noticed that from time to time I make mistakes sadly you will not hear that from every preacher out there. I make mistakes. Sometimes it's a simple mistake like the bulletin errors, and go ahead and find the one for today. There's always one in there. I don't think I've ever printed a perfect bulletin, not once in my life. Gene found an error in there that I, for almost, if it wasn't for his help, I would have forgotten one of our hymns, and you wouldn't have been, you would have had to remember uh, uh, one of the hymns from memory. Who wants to do that today? Oh, no hands. Me neither. So we make mistakes. And one of the things that sometimes we're afraid of is when we go to tell people about Jesus, that we might say something wrong. Or maybe we, we won't even mean to say something hurtful, but we might say something that hurts someone's feelings, not meaning to. Does anyone ever worry about making those kinds of mistakes? What about when it comes to singing the hymns? Ever make a mistake in the lyrics? Yeah. I, I, good. I, I, was glad, I was glad one member of the men's choir besides me raised his hand. Thank you for that. And when we read the Bible, sometimes we make mistakes and we get tripped up, don't we, Jamie? There was, there was a couple of spots you got kind of tripped up there. Is it okay? Do we get over it? Do we forgive it? Absolutely. Do we try our best to do things right? But we, and, and we don't try to make mistakes, and we don't want the mistakes to be there, but we also need to remember to not be afraid of making a mistake. And in being so afraid, we do nothing. Is it more important to try and do something to please God? Ben? Ben? Yeah. What do mistakes mean? This is a very important lesson for a four or five year old. When you do something like tie your shoes and you make a big gnarly knot that mom and dad get all grouchy about and we have to spend the rest of the afternoon untying, you made a mistake. Unless your intention was to make mom and dad grouchy. All right. So do you make mistakes? Yes, you do. Do we forgive you your mistakes? Yeah, even though we might get grouchy. Thank you for that example. Because we all make mistakes. We're all sinners. We all need forgiveness. We all need to forgive one another. And in that forgiveness, we find a deeper faith. Let us pray. Lord, keep us from thinking that we are always right. And help us to remember that you are always right. And when we make mistakes, Lord, help us to forgive one another. Help us to accept the forgiveness of others. And Lord, help us to forgive ourselves. To hear your forgiveness in our hearts. And to move forward with a right and true heart that is centered again on you and on your love. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.